Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. About 18 months ago we shared a popular tutorial on how to install JW Player for your site and today we're going to update the tutorial for the recently launched version 6. As you probably know, JW Player provides a lightweight, versatile way to host your own videos with their out of the box features like analytics and support for HTML5. And like sourcing your videos directly from YouTube or Vimeo, self-hosting with JW Player can provide otherwise missed SEO benefits like the video thumbnail rich snippet for example. So the sixth version of JW Player comes with some great new features and you'll be pleased to know it's just as easy as ever to install. It's free for non-commercial use, however we've noticed in the free version the JW Player watermark is a little more intrusive and persistent. Commercial use pricing has also changed from the one-off fee to annual licensing about £100 a year, or £200 for a premium license for up to 10 sites. Nevertheless, JW Player is still a fantastic solution under the right circumstances. Let's show you how to install it, and a bit of a cheeky way as well for compressing your videos into the right format for mobile devices. So start by heading over to longtailvideo.com, and you'll notice that you can download JW Player 6 directly from the homepage. Now if you're looking to use the free for non-commercial use player and you wish to use the built-in analytics that give you access to basic stats like this, you want to make sure that you include your real email address so that you can register and get an, uh, like a license key to use the built-in analytics. So simply press the uh, download button and you'll get a download that looks a little bit like this. Inside JW Player you get a flash player uh, skin and HTML5 one and the JW player JavaScript file and a basic installation readme file which is really useful. The only difference between JW player and the premium version is you get some skins included in the download and there's a few extra features built into the skins such as no JW player branding and a few other things like social sharing and connectivity with Google Analytics. So we're just going to use the basic free version Next thing you're going to need then is obviously your video file. So I've got an example loaded just here on the desktop to use. Now JW Player will support various formats like FLV, but if you're looking for your uh, website users to be able to use JW Player, use the videos on all devices including uh, Apple's iPad and iPhone with iOS, then you need to use the MP4 format. Not only do you need to use the MP4 format, you need to be quite specific with your settings. So it sounds a little bit complicated, but there's actually a really easy way to get hold of this file in the correct settings. And that's to take advantage of YouTube. If you upload your videos to YouTube and head over to your video manager, you can actually download uh, an MP4 version of your uploaded file, irrespective of the format that you uploaded in. And this downloadable MP4 is in the perfect format that you need for JW Player and for playing on any device. So not only can you also upload your video to YouTube for people on YouTube to find it, but you can also download the MP4 for use on your own website when hosting with JW Player 6. Okay, so I've created then a basic page with just a uh, heading here, and we're gonna load the JW Player video in just below. And that's all there in that example folder. I've also created a poster graphic that will be visible before we play the video which goes alongside this video just here. So I'm going to take the poster and the video and I'm going to drag that inside the JW Player folder and then I'm going to take the JW Player folder and put that on the root of my website. Now you can obviously put the files wherever you like but the easy thing to do is to just maintain the JW Player path and load that up onto the desktop, sorry the root layer of your page. So here's the file structure, there's my home page, the JW Player folder with all the files including my video and poster, and there's just the style sheet there that I'm using to control the page. So let's head over then to uh, the HTML file itself, and then let's also load up the readme file. Okay, let's just bring that back. Okay, so the README file is quite short and sweet, gives you everything you need to get working and underway with the player quite quickly. First thing you want to do then is take these two JavaScripts just here. And if you want to take advantage, like I mentioned a moment ago, of the free built-in analytics that gives you some pretty cool basic stats like so, you'll need to get the license key that was emailed to you. 
So we'll just skip that for the moment. Uh, we don't need to necessarily use the analytics for the example, but in usual cases, any page that you want to track and embed the video, you'll need both. We're just going to take the player for now. And we're going to add that within the head tags of the page like so. And just want to make sure here, look, where the source is, that this matches the source to wherever the file's stored. So here, JW player and JW player.js. The next block of code then on the readme file gives you everything that you need to then enable the player. So again, I'm going to copy that and bring the page back up. And you'll see here, I'm just going to paste that in. Let's just move that over a little bit. So let's just inspect this code for a moment then. So initially we have uh, what's practically an empty div that just says loading the player with an ID of my element. You'll see then here that the JW player matches the my element within this inline script and it's going to source a file and an image for our video, the bare minimum that we'll need in order to use JW player. So from this stage on then, if you wish to use more than one video per page, I'd recommend copying and pasting the code in its entirety. You just need to make sure that you change the ID and the JW player ID just here. Otherwise it will put the same video into both divs. So they just need to be unique per pair. Okay, so let's start linking up our files then. So I'm just going to change the path to JW player slash video. So that's our video file. And then for the poster image, that was just uh, JW player as well, slash poster. I'm also then going to add a few extra attributes that you can find on the uh, JW player website in their installation guide. There's actually quite a few features you can use. So the first one is we'll also specify a title, which will give us a nice cool overlay. Uh, and we'll call that one, I don't know, example video title. And then we can also specify the width quite important but not mandatory 692 and a height of 389 that should give us a nice 16 by 9 ratio so just to recap then I'm just simply running the JW player JavaScript in the head to the correct path I'm running the inline script with the correctly sourced video poster using the title overlay the width and the height and like I mentioned there are a few more of these uh, identifiers that you can use to control the control bar, autoplay. If you've got the premium version, you can get a social sharing overlay and better connectivity with Google Analytics, which is pretty cool. Save that down, head over to your page, and hopefully you should get the player working like so. So here's the watermark I meant we mentioned earlier. Here's the title tag, and you can simply push play and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching this week's video. As always, leave your questions and comments below.